guest artist recital uh, featuring Jonathan Warburton. Uh, he is a fine uh, bass trombonist of uh, world renown, and he is a favorite of contemporary composers. They're standing in line to write pieces for Jonathan. I'm sure you're going to enjoy the program this evening. I am the UAH Performing Arts Operations Coordinator, and I also serve as one of the staff accompanists. So I'll be playing along with Jonathan tonight as his collaborative pianist. Wanted to make a couple announcements. Uh, if you didn't get a program, they're in the back. Um, as I said, a lot of composers are uh, writing for Jonathan. If you look in your order of program, there's asterisks after like the first two thirds of the pieces. I forgot to give you the, the little note about what the asterisk means. All the ones that have asterisks, you are part of history tonight. They are world premieres. You're the first audience to hear these pieces live. Um, that's what the little asterisks mean. If you look on your back cover, you have a really cool QR code, you know, like the kids use. Um, this is to help us continue to raise money toward our endowment. Uh, we are, as performing arts, music, theater, and film at UAH, we are trying to build an endowment that assures our future and our ability to continue to present guest artists as well as our own faculty artists. And um, we actually, in this process, have two very generous donors who have agreed to match every gift up to $10,000. So say you donated $5 to the endowment, it will count as $15. So uh, that goes on through the end of the semester, so through April. So we really do appreciate your support. And if you have any questions about it, you can see me after. Be glad to talk to you about it. Uh, glad you're here, and enjoy the recital. Thank you. 
a double bass player, plays with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra in London, uh, write, written a lot of brass band music. Uh, those who have delved into a lot of British brass music have written a lot of brass band music. And, uh, and that was a piece that he wrote for me some years back called Fire. So I'm going to move on to uh, my first of the, of the brand new pieces tonight. Um, what can I tell you about Air for Beige Moon? Well, back in the Covid period, there was, um, I don't know if you saw it, you should look it up on YouTube, it's, it's really, really great. There's a, there's a little girl singing, called, called, singing the coronavirus song. And she talks, she sings about how she's stuck in her home all around. She's played guitar, she did all these different things, and she's stuck at home, like, bored, bored senseless, you know. You know um, and, and, she, and she's singing that singer. And she plays trombone and she plays euphonium on this thing. It's, it's, it's absolutely adorable. Well, I got in touch with her dad, and, uh, um, and uh, lo and behold, you know, I asked him if he'd write a piece, and he said, sure. So, so, uh, so this is a, a brand new piece uh, by Paul Langford, and this is called Air for Bass Trombone, and I hope you enjoy this. Thank you. 
I hope you enjoyed that. I've, I'm trying to offer tonight some music that is from different parts of the world, also from, you know, different kind of backgrounds, different styles, some jazz, some, some, some jazz in it, some, some classical, some more contemporary. And so I'm going to move on to my first of, again, of another brand new piece of music. I had this piece a little while. I came across a composer who wrote, a, a, I think, a, some, some, some really good, good music for, for, for brass. Her name was Dale Trumbull, and I approached her to if she would write me a piece. She didn't really, well, she wasn't really receptive to the idea of, of writing for, for bass trombone. And, uh, but, you know, um, as I'm extremely attractive, you know, she thought, okay, I'll, I'll decide to write for bass trombone in the end. But no, no, I'm, I'm, no. Um, she wasn't, but, you know, over the COVID period, there was a time when, when things became very slow. And so, you know, out came this piece of music that I was quite complete, quite sideswiped by. And this is a, a piece that she wrote for me a little while back, and this is called Flu, and it's by Dale Trumbull. And by the way, Dale is a girl, not a boy. Again, like I said, I'm trying to do things from like different genres, different kind of styles that encompass different aspects of the trombone, and also from different places. And also, in the in the in the world of trying to be diverse, yes, I'm trying to do you know try and get, I, I try as a as a as an instrumentalist to try and, you know try and get music from all different backgrounds and types and, and people who write in different styles. So and that's one of my great loves. Is my great Loves is to actually work with living composers and will say, Flippinette, what drugs were you on when you wrote that? 
you know. So it's I'm I'm I'm, I'm a, a real believer in trying to move the instrument forward and trying to you know show what other what music's out there uh, for 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 bass and a lot of this is brand new and uh, and I hopefully you're you're enjoying enjoying this so far. And this brings me on to yes another brand new piece of music. Now. I can't really tell you lots about this composer, other than he wrote a piece for uh, a, a piece for Tom Everett. Now, Tom was the professor of music at the Harvard University, and he was a big inspiration for me because he really commissioned a lot of music for bass trombone. And uh, and, I, and I approached this Cybrand, and if he'd be interested in write, writing a piece, and he, he you know. I, he kind of gave me some thought and he said, okay, I mean, sometimes these composers work with them, they, they, they live very busy lives and so it's, it's hard to nail them down. But uh, I got this piece out of him and this is uh, the world premiere of, of Cy Brandon's piece called Bravura.
say is when you're reading those different meters all the time, it makes your head spin. I mean, you know, I, you know but anyway, you know, it's, it's great. You know, I, I, I love like challenges where you sometimes have music that's, that, that, that doesn't follow like a regular meter, where you have different meters going on. And you're going to hear some other pieces later on that also have interchanging meters. Uh, so, I'm, and yet again, I'm going to play another brand new world premiere of a piece. Now, again, this comes from a whole different part of the world altogether. This is from, this is, well, Torstein is, um, he's actually, he's Norwegian. I think he's, I think he's Norwegian. Hmm. Yeah, he's, well, I spoke to him, he sounded Norwegian. Uh, I mean, my, uh, I mean, what are Eskimo? Where's where, where, Eskimo? Is Northern? Yeah, probably, he's, he's probably an Eskimo. You know, um, but no, no, seriously, no. But um, this, this is, is, is come out of Scandinavia. It's, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's out of like northern, northern parts of Sweden and, uh, and Norway. This, and this is kind of, um, well, how do you describe it? This is based on kind of almost Norwegian and, and, and uh, Scandinavian throat singing. So this is a little bit, so a little bit different. And again, you're, you're going to hear, you're going to hear some, some, uh, some, some interesting things. A little bit of quarter tonal stuff as well. So you know, uh, so uh, so. But I hope you'll enjoy this. This is this is a, a piece that he wrote for me a little while back called uh, Lavu Chant, and this is the world premiere of Lavu Chant. Thank 
So any of you want to be Eskimos out there, there's some music for you. <laughs> right, um, well I hope you enjoyed that. It's, again, like I said, I'm trying to offer some, some music from different parts of the world, different composers, and different like theologies and, 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 and ideas of way compositions done. So I'm going to move also, amazingly, to another world premiere of a piece. Now, this lad is a uh, trombonist in Nashville, where I'm from. Um, as you can tell, I'm sounding like a real Nashvilleian. Yol and yonder and all that kind of stuff. You know, I still can't say it, but I'm working on it, you know. But, um, 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 you know, uh, God save the Queen King or whatever. You, no, 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 no. Something else. Uh, uh, so, and this is a... Jonathan Salzado is a really kind of just finished Vanderbilt. He's a very, very fine trombone player, a really good jazz player. And so I approached Jonathan if he'd write me a piece, and lo and behold, I got this out of him, out of him out of him and this is the world premiere of Jonathan Salzado's Looking Forward. Thank <laughs> you. 
So, this next piece, uh, well, frankly, it's super difficult. Uh, it looks easier than it is, but it's, it's pretty difficult. Um, again, this, this composer, Gary Powell Nash, is a professor of composition, I think he's at Fisk University in Nashville. Uh, he, some years back, he wrote a piece called The, um, the Progressive Jazz Suite, which was, has done, been done a few times, and... Uh, and uh, and I thought it was a really great piece. And I, I approached, approached him, if, if uh, Professor Nash Powell, if he would actually write a piece for me. And lo and behold, this came out of it. Uh, uh, and, uh, and this is called the world premiere of Bordering Plus One. Bye. 
feel a stroke coming on? That, that's that. Right there. Uh, um, so, uh, well I hope you do that. It's, it's, uh, again, it's, it's uh, you know, everybody's approach to a composition for bass is very different. And so, I mean, some people like to use lo lots of like tone colours, like loud playing, fast playing, lots of tremone techniques where you're sliding around. Other people like to do lo lots of mixed metres and uh, that's one of those. So, um, but I'm going to move on to uh, uh, a couple of unaccompanied pieces, but this first one um, is called Theorem with Funk. Now, well, you, you can't go wrong with a bit, bit of funk, funky pop music, can you? So, you know, and you know, the bass moan is just instrument comes to mind when you think about that. So, but Josh Satina is the bass moan player with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra in London. And he wrote me this piece uh, a number of years ago. Uh, for those of you who don't know, if you ever saw Lord of the Rings, he's probably on things like that when he did that. But anyway, um, this is a piece that he wrote for me some years back uh, called Theorem with Funk, and I hope you enjoy this. Uh, um, if you feel like you want to get up and, and, and shake, 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 shake yeah, 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 here's, here's your big chance. Thank you. 
Disappointed. The boss of the audience participation was <laughs> needs, you know, when they, they put it on that report, it needs improvement. Yes, yes. That's a B plus at best. That's me being kind. But right, anyway, but I hope you enjoyed that. It's a bit of fun. And, and this next one's kind of in the same This one's called, uh, called Ambling Along. Uh, Michael Everston is uh, actually a British bass drum player, lives in the, ne in the Netherlands. Uh, Holland, as, as we, we call it. Um, uh, it's a flat and dull and boring place and just full of windmills. But, you know, um, uh, but he's a very fine player uh, uh, and uh, he wrote me uh, this piece a little while back. Um, uh, again, again, he's got a few little mixed meters, five, five, five eights, six eights, nine eights, and any, any, any other meter we can throw in there. So it's a bit of fun, but you, you, you'll get the idea. What it is. It's, it's a bit of a fun little ambling along piece. Uh, and, uh, and this is uh, Michael Everton's Ambling Along. And the bit you've all been dreading, the last piece. You know, so anyway, no. Um, well, I hope you enjoy that. I've, I mean, again, I've tried to offer some, some music that I think is a little bit different from, 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 uh, from, from the run of the mill kind of music for trombone. Well, I'm good. this last piece um, is, uh, those of you who are, who are familiar with brass music and generally, and, and tr especially trombone as well, uh, Stephen Verhelst, I believe actually he's Belgian. Uh, but had written a lot of really great music for bass trombone. Really, really, a lot of duets, a lot of, tri lot, lot of solo pieces. Uh, and I mean, this is, I mean, he's written me two pieces. This is the first one that he wrote me so, a number, quite a number of years back now. Um, uh, and this is called Speaking Angels by Stephen Verhelst.
it's, uh, it's, I mean, I hope you've enjoyed tonight's little, little, uh, little opuses that I've done. And um, nothing would give me, it gives me greater pleasure than actually doing this, this very last, penult this very last, I should say, encore piece. Um, uh, I mean, it, it's, it's like, it's, I understand he's like a legend in town. So it, it's a really great honour to actually play this piece with, uh, with, with Billy. Um, so this, this piece we're going to play now is, um, when, is, is, is called Eagle's Landing. Now, for those of you who haven't heard it, uh, Michael Davis, who wrote this piece, um, he's, he's an absolutely phenomenal jazz trombone player. But he actually plays trombone with the Rolling Stones. So, um, you know, and so, I mean, you know, you know but he's, 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 he's an absolute monster of a player. And he's a monster of a composer too, and he's written a lot of big band music, a lot of brass and music, and a lot of, of all these styles. And this is, well, it's, it's, it's actually the only one he's written for tenor and bass and, 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 uh, and recorded music. And so I hope you're going to enjoy this. This is um, Eagle's Landing by Michael Davis, featuring me and the great Billy Margetti. <laughs>
Thank you. 